Right, I'm going to make this a quick video. Um, we're going to go in to MAME and edit the controller configs. Um, there's three types of MAME on here. We have, well, there's more than three, but three main types of MAME. There's the full collection, 30 odd thousand, 40 odd thousand games. You have the four player MAME which is all your four player games which is in multiplayer and we have the gun games um, to change Pacific settings for certain games so say if you wanted to change 1944 controller settings and um, you do it all via the arcade sticks I just have a keyboard plugged in because it's easier um, select and start would bring up your menu and exit out your menu so Tab in is the usual key. Um, if we go into general input, you should have all the controllers and buttons set up there. Now, input general, you would have all your main settings, your default settings for your Joy 1, Joy 2, Joy 3, Joy 4. Right? Now, Default settings, the files set to read me, read only, um, because for four player controllers, any time a controller is unplugged or plugged back in, it will set the controls all back to default and you'd have to reset them back up um, next time you load MAME, etc. So that's set to read only. Um, but as for in game settings, you would just go down to the game you wish um, sorry explain that better you would go into your tab menu while in MAME go and input this game move down to the button you wish to change um, if it's at, if it's button 2 I don't want to change it because I have all mine configured but you'd hit enter then you'd select the button you wish to change it to, um, whichever config you wish, which is best for you. Um, then you would go to return and return into the game. Um, usually general input settings controllers, um, if you want to change them, you would escape out, Alt F4 out of hyperspin, you wouldn't have that menu open. So you would on um, task manager, you would have control alt delete, run task manager, you'd bring up your task manager window, click new task, um, it should already be in there but if it ain't type in explorer.exe, run, go into hyperspin, arcade, emulators, now you have your three main, main folders. Um, MAME, MAME gun games and MAME multiplayer um, it all depends on which system you want to edit as default and um, if there's something you wish to prefer as default they're all configured anyways but if you like I say if this is something you wish to configure by default yourself you can go into config go down to the default folder You'd right click that file and you'd untick read only. Apply settings and OK. Now I'm not going to change it. I'm going to go to properties again. Select read only because I don't want to have to reconfigure everything. Um, you'd go back into your main folder, load main. and then you will just configure your inputs however you wish and that would then change your inputs as default once you exit out of that and you've changed everything the way you wish to have it all your button setups and um, your different controllers um, your, your aim track guns you would exit out of that Go back into your config folder and set that default config file 
is um, read only then you would apply it make sure it's definitely ticked is read only and then you set the go um, and then if I control tab back in go into um, new task explorer.exe arcade then run hyperspin so when you unplug the controllers while you within main you will receive um in the settings it will just come up any for controller two and three um if you plug them back in load me load quick main load main back up and go to the controller settings it will then show up the controllers two and three then button presses and it won't revert back to default as it has done in the past um another quick tutorial i'll have to make this quick because i don't have much time left on the clock um right you'd go you'd alt f4 out of hyperspin you'd new task explorer.exe run hyperspin now quick one of adding games you would add them usually through hyper hq um wheel settings there's tutorials online add new game new add new menu um i'll just quickly add one give it a random name um make sure all your names and your databases in your sub main menus if it's a pc game just go to ex executable um add before or after a system that you wish it to be in the menu and um, continue it ask for an executable you would add that executable um, no parameters uses hyper launch this is for your key mapping and stuff within rocket launcher so you'd enable hyper launch when you do that i recommend going back into the hyperspin folder the arcade folder sorry on your d drive go into databases um, just copy something another pc game title in a database i'll, I'll pick dragon ball z click copy paste that then rename that to your system um, the it's got to be exact it's got to be typed exactly the same name so that folder is now named go or whatever i added then you would go in and you would rename the xml file as go um, and then you would edit that with notepad or whatever editor you wish then you would change the game name between the quotes as the exact wording of the title then the description and then add the manufacturer information if you wish delete it out add the gen genre um, delete it if you wish but then you'd save file and save that once in that you would go to arcade folder again open rocket launcher and usually if it's a pc game which most customers ask to add extra pc games new pc games um i recommend keeping it off the internet i don't like updating the system once it's stable enough i don't like messing around if it's stable just don't bother updating keep it disconnected from the internet run smooth and um, the system's updated enough to load new emulators new load new games um it's not worth messing on too much updating and having to change settings and reconfigure um, emulators so you'd go down to your system so let's say if it was dragon ball fighter z um, you would add the emulator don't run a rom path if it's a pc game remove that just default emulator make that pc launcher um, you would select go down to the emulator selection select pc launcher 
then you would run over to modules um, click on edit system Pacific module settings if if you go to add and it doesn't show the name description just close that down go to games audit the game then go into um, your modules edit system Pacific module go into our application um, sorry go in and add new ROM add the ROM add the application for some reason I didn't have to do this for the key map at work also with um, rocket loan with um, Dragon Ball Z just just seems to load perfectly fine um, but other games like Injustice and stuff I, I did it in a way so just added the global settings and um, you'd add that global settings um, then you will go once you've added the global settings there's a couple of other settings maybe you might need for loading certain PC games if they don't load correctly if it loads but then jumps you back in hyperspin maybe you have to app weird AXE or change the default um, exit method to maybe in game or win win close it wait for app AXE there's different settings you can play around with to um, load certain games most PC games just all default um, you don't have to up wait AXE and stuff like that they just load direct into um, then obviously when it comes to a key map I use Xpara so I would add a system profile then I would add edit um, a, sorry I would add the profile 1 and profile 2 then I would edit them profiles to whatever mapping I wish so on this system I have 3D um, glasses set up I have a 3D monitor so I've got a hold in button then I would have control T to enable and disable 3D I would have control alt insert to remove the display um, the information bar at the bottom right hand side when it comes to most loading first first time loads for certain games and um, then I have the depth up and down on the control pad while holding that on the joystick sorry and um, for the depth of 3d and I think something else to do with the 3d depth on the left left and right and um, then I have the volume up for your trigger buttons and um, volume up and down and then oh, F12 and stuff like that other other configurations I wish to have while holding that button down and um, then you'd obviously set up your player 2 profile for your second controller which I have escape as default as a center button don't have any other configs um, and <clears throat> when it comes to configuring controllers on PC games I'll have to be quick 20 seconds left I'd, I'd use X360 CE um, do that load it up run it got to connect to the internet run it then set up your profiles quit it disable the internet and then you'll have them set up as Xbox 360